What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a really special guest in the building today. They are two members from Free Mind. It's Caterpillar and Shango Tricks. What's going on, big bosses? Let's yeah, man, it's just nice. It's so nice. It's on the Muscle Show, so we get feeling great. Yeah, I'm saying, uh, yo. The Muscle Show. <laughs> yeah, Works man. to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Entertainment Report podcast today. Yeah, man. Thank you much. Thank, thank you, you much. much to to you too. For, for entertaining us and for, and for having us on your program, you know. Big thanks for that. Yeah. Thank you. I must, I must tell you, I, I used to watch this program. I never believe I'll be on it anyway. I always watch it. Not used to. I watch it regularly. Yeah. Never, never know I'll be on it. But yeah, it's a joy. <laughs> yeah, it's always it's always funny whenever you see the numbers. Yeah, okay, you see a thousand people, but you don't know if it's a thousand person what if one person watching a thousand times or one thousand people watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, true that. Yeah. True. All right, dude. All right. So you guys know we like to go right from the beginning and then bring it right up to 2022. So I'm gonna ask each of you guys how you guys actually what type of child were you guys and where do you guys grow up in Jamaica? Yes, Peter. Huh? Shot it? Yeah, shot it. Well, this is Caterpillar Free Minds Caterpillar, yeah. I'm from St. Thomas. Over the east, we have the Bath Fund. My little district now them call it Johnstown. And you have the only district with two towns in it, because you have Johnstown and you have Beckford Town. You know the one district. So yeah. Countryman Caterpillar from St. Thomas. East, easy. <laughs> easy. Easy. <laughs> All right. You, Shango, where did you grow up in Jamaica? Yeah, man. Well, I grew up in Kingston still. I, I born in a time where our parents used to move from one area to the next area, you know, trying to find somewhere to really make sure, say, none of our children them not get too, none of, none of the children them not get too out of hand, no, because Kingston that we grew up in. You know, so um, we grew up in the East Kingston still, like Mountain View area, Glasspool Avenue, them area there. You know, so um, basically, yeah, that's where we come from. And what type of children were you guys coming up? Did you guys think you were going to get into music, doctors, lawyers? What did you guys think you were going to get into? <laughs> <laughs> Until that feel like, well, <laughs> we laugh once. As, as, for, as for me, you know, me... Recognize my music journey at the age of about, like seriously. I mean, they used normally dance, used to dance and all this. And that kid go to the dance, squeegee go in and go to dance and get two soda from some big people because you can dance good and thing like that. But the actual time when we recognize that this is what I'm going to be doing is actually on the day of Bob Marley's funeral. Mm. And all that happened now is like, I was in school, normally country school, you know, have TV, you barely have light in the school. But that specific <laughs> day, if you know my shop, is a Delco, then bring come on there. And you see TV set up now, enough yard don't have TV and all them things there. So, Everybody know in an auditorium, you never know where I go on. But when they take us, when I realize it's Bob Marley funeral, I watch, I go on. And it's like, that's where the thing come and say, yo, this is it, you know. And I put, that's why I was about 11 at that time. Mm. And I take the courage. Well, my big brother is also a musician that I used to watch and thing like that. And right there, there. Knowing that thing rare seen at a uh, specific area. I took the courage behind my parents, went to the principal of the school and asked her for permission to let me out so I can go watch my brother just rehearse because I realized music is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And she actually gave me permission, you know, like 30 minutes before the, the uh, original closing time. Mm -hmm. And that's where it all started. And from there, you know, church thing and the whole thing. And it just actually, I started as a drummer anyway. Okay. And you, and you, Shango? Well, uh, my parents don't want me to know music at all. That's straight up and down. <laughs> I can't tell you that. It, well, I think most, mainly the popular music, like, you know, reggae music and so forth, where I was in Jamaica, you know, for them time. You know, because I grew up in a, like a Christian kind of home. 
you know, and um, everything was heading towards education and things like that, you know. And uh, for some reason, I never really have any interest like that. But because I used to see, I used to screech and watch musician I play like, you know, up the road and crack, like, you know, they would have a little rehearsal place along Sun Road or so, where we used to live nearby. And some man used to over there play, but it's like, what kind of feel to that one though? Never really satisfied myself yet, you know, as a youth. You know, but um, as I grew up and get little older, you know, I find myself a singing at church, you know, yeah. and um, I sing at uh, many different church. I go and sing, <laughs> you know, holy for choir as a youth, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, what happened now, you know, from there, so I um, ended up playing trumpet. I ended up in the cadet force. <laughs> You know, and I'm uh, playing trumpet and thing. And uh, with that saying, you know, somebody see me in that time and say, you know, if, if, I, if I can't sing. But by them time, I'm still like about 12, 13 years old, them were there, you know, so it was so old, you know. And, and um, it's like them, them, just, them ask me, you know, if I can't sing, and can them see me in a quiet and thing, and I say, yeah, yeah, you, know, you can try a thing. And of course, put a little group together and we start to dance and sing like stylistics and earth with a fire thing, you know, as a little youth. Yeah. So, yeah, I from the side, really, we kind of take on that music part, but my parents still at the same time never unite <laughs> because them attribute music, them tying away with certain things and certain elements, you know, and, you know, them, them, them kind of fear that. Whereas, and, and at the time, still, I still never have no interest in that school, but my, my thing was just to pass the exam then for please them, you know? So, yeah. So, um, the whole thing take off with me, you know, the music. The love, the love, you know, the music is when we start hang out from Stereophonic and Arrows. Okay. Yeah. But with man like Welton Irie and, and, um, and Lord Range and Carlton Livingston, them kind of man there. You still around them man and Chester. You, you were able to get them Chester? I saw him man. When I spoke to um Carlton <laughs> Livingston, he was telling me about him. Yeah. Got all well, over the use in our little thing we call Ed Asana. You know? And a channel one we said with a, a, a record from a regular. Mm-hmm. But me was a little youth them time there. So every time we go to studio and go home, we get beaten. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't love it so much, so we used to add up myself for get the beating, you yeah? understand? <laughs> <laughs> because because you love it you know when you love it so yeah. much, we're speaking about this is in the 80s we're speaking about probably late 70s early 80s yeah, yeah late se- in the 70s 70s it went to the early 80s mm-hmm. yeah so then you okay so you were hanging out doing your stuff there so then remember now you're the singer yeah yeah and yeah. pilla is a dj so then yeah. okay pilla now mm-hmm. what dj were you looking up to where you said okay you know you want a dj opposed to sing who are you looking up to as a DJ now? Well, my daddy, you know, original DJ, daddy, a Shabba Ranks, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and straight Shabba. Mm-hmm. And by then, when I really started DJ and I used to play drums, I, actually, I told you I was a drummer, right? I came to Japan as a drummer. Then, somewhere along the line, the DJ thing kick in, and we realized so we can play and DJ at the same time. Mm-hmm. Now that getting too wicked from the journey, people must say, yo, you need to stand up. So I eventually stand up and never sit down mm-hmm. again <laughs> for a while now. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm making me stand up whenever they get up on my head. Yeah, yeah, I'm used to run me after, get up, for, you know, get up, yeah, man, for real. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm used to, by then, no, I'm used to do a lot of shabarangs and bujubantan. Yeah, I'm not a fan of doing different other DJs covers DJ but me definitely used to do Shaba and Bujo. Mm-hmm. And you know Shaba came out as a daddy, then Bujo came out behind Shaba sounding like Shaba in the first place. So eventually I love Shaba. So you know so Bujo gonna take on to my thing too. I'm gonna take on to Bujo thing too, you know so that's the two I used to do. Plus my like original freestyle in between and thing like that until the thing grew and grew and grew and you know. 
from there. From did you the, guys, did you guys actually play in any band, any back in bands for any artists at this time, or you guys were just more or less doing it for yourself? Well, I I played I played uh, yeah, I played for a couple a couple of artists in back in band, you know. A couple yeah, of I, I and I, I used to sing um, on the floor, like Dennis Brown and and um and Greg Gray and when we go on tour. Yeah. You know, yeah. by that time I was in a in a band, you know, back, like we used to back artists. Mm -hmm. So I used to lead sing for a band like that and then um what happened? You know, we go on tour and then we used to go, go, go we used to go to Caribbean Island with Flower Gun and Dennis Brown and you know Greg Gray and you know sing harmony, you know, them where they so, so them, you know. The experience, it was, the journey was nice. Mm -hmm. What yeah. band, what band was that? Ninja Force band. Ninja Force. Yeah. Okay, from, so from Lee Grimm, a lot Lee Grimm. Yeah. Okay, because you see the thing with it, it's only, I would say probably 2015 is when I started seeing music from the both you guys. But then when you really look, I know you guys been in the business for a long time. Yeah, so yeah, I knew yeah, that yeah. you guys yeah, have been... You wouldn't allow There's enough program for talk about this. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> if you go in a details, you know, can you just get yeah. a synopsis and we'll go on, really? Mm -hmm. you know? Okay, because, you know, we, we like details too, you know, because, again, what, what we like to do is like to show the individual journey, how you met and where we are today. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, directly, sure. that's what it is. So then now, you're, you're in the band, you're back in some other people too. So then what were you guys' next moves now also? Well, uh, um, was you say you just seen stuff from the twenty fifth from twenty fifteen, right? With us, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Beyond that, individually, we 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 are, we were we are we were artists, and we are artists. Yeah, we had a whole well, own career going, own career differently from then. But it, the the unique thing about this now, when we when Trex and I link up, we eventually start supporting each other's project projects. You understand, yeah, like. I'm not and that are from 1990. And that are from the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. You like know? 91, basically. basically. Yeah, from 91 come up. Yeah, mm -hmm. to now. Yeah. Until now. So we, we we actually been working with each other, supporting each other, like on live stages and stuff like that, just by supporting recording. Recordings, yeah. I, do, I rec or I'm released my album with Sony Records. Trick sing vocals on it, backup yeah, from, vocals on it for me. We do stuff with AV Extract. Yeah, and Japanese and DJ DJ. For me. I do DJ and his project too. So we, we've been working and because of that, we have those collab together and separate um, um, projects. Mm -hmm. We eventually do lives together. Yeah, yeah. Time when to promote, to promote them, them, them stuff that we used to do. To do both stuff. Mm -hmm. So you have a time when I was playing drums the same band I'm playing drums in Trex is doing vocals in that in that band. In that band, yeah. And at the same time, that same show, I have my DJ slot where somebody else play the drums and I go up front. And that's where Trex and I do the upfront thing from a long time. So we've been working yeah. with that with that with that with that thing from a long time. And yeah. I just so when you see it come up now, that's when we actually just seal up the whole free minds thing and get it together and yeah. say, we might this is what we're gonna do before yeah. even that you skipped over something very slightly there you said your <laughs> album on sony music that's nothing that we're gonna skip over there too easy here yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. was it sunny you know japan sunny japan okay and was your name always caterpillar yeah caterpillar okay how did you get to sony japan in the first place <laughs> the next thing again you know sir it happened that my, my brother actually gave me a demo tape because I'm in Japan. My brother gave me a demo tape to try and shop it for him. And being that I'm, I started DJ and stuff like that, I said to myself, but if I'm going to shop this for my brother, might as well I just make a package for myself also. And we shop both. So I, we, I did that and it happened that somebody from Sony interested in my project. You know, because mainly my brother's stuff was a cover song, Stop the Train. And you have another group that has released it like a year ago or something like that, another cover. So they weren't interested much in the cover. So what I did, yeah, they, they're more interested in my stuff. And that's where the whole Sonny thing come in. And, you know, we, 
end up doing an album for them. You know, and that was uh, 95, I think. Yeah, but yeah, nine, uh, nine, but at the same time, uh, yeah, yeah, young time because yeah, twenty five, yeah, you know, and from there, another album with Warner Brothers, yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> but that was that was Caterpillar, and <laughs> and and during that time, I you know I said I also was with a label in Japan, one of the biggest big labels, so just like Sony and them today, the EV Extracts. There was young in that time, but they're big right now, see, but there yeah. was. Really at that time where we started them project with yeah them. yeah you know but them up in other thing now big time you know where is thing there this is what i want to know again as i said i could go back and i go up to 2015 but you guys this conversation started we're talking about 70s crazy stuff happening in the night yeah, where is all this information so people know this is the people that we're speaking to right here <laughs> now, man, with, with what you're telling me, because again, I knew you guys having out your new song right now, Dangerous, produced by um Lenky. I know yeah. clearly you're not going to just walk up to Lenky and he's just going to produce a song. <laughs> I know well, clearly well, there's well, something well, going on. Well, here in this now, mm -hmm. me and Lenky used to be, you know, the same band, the Ninja Force band. Lenky, I played keyboards and me, I lead sing. Mm -hmm. You know, and as a matter of fact, it's a bunch of ways. Al Prince used to play a job for the um, past of it, Jarvis' soul. Um, Prince who play, used to play for Bujo. Mm -hmm. he, he was a job and a Ninja Force, you know, and Lenky on keyboard. Trevor, where I play bass um, for, for, for Berries, was the bass man, see? So, of course, kind of, and Sheldon, you know, Sheldon they play keyboard too, for Janine and thing, mm -hmm. thing, yeah? And play the flute and all these things. Yeah, man, and I and I the name Titus, who's a guitarist. Yeah, yeah, man, we used to be in the same band, so, of course, Lenky, I'm a bridging. Lenky is not just, you know, I'm a fan like of that. We, we live together in SEMOs. I'm I, I not mean, that like one year or two years. Or years. <laughs> you know, you know, you thought I'd the see part and all these things, you know. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, I used to see Lenky go to Vauxhall, Vauxhall um, Secondary School. Because mm -hmm. I used to go in this early age school, right? It's just a block away from Vauxhall. And we're not doing this. So, so um, yeah, I used to see him, but. It was not until we meet up in a Ninja Force book on bridging and thing. So me and Lenky thing go way back. Farther than he with Caterpillar. Well, go far longer than Caterpillar thing, way, 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 way back. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know? no, it's just it's just crazy. That's how I know there's always like I would consider you guys some hidden gems in the business. Cause listen, between yeah. the two of you guys, we're talking about probably like 40 or 50 years of musical history. Yeah, 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 man. These yeah, two man. men here. True. 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 That's True. a lot of stuff there. So even the group now, Free Minds, why do you guys decide to get to come together and name the group Free Minds? Go with the tricks. Yeah, well, well uh -uh. We did, we, we, as, as Pilar was at Tillerson, we used to, we've been doing stuff together on each other project over the years, working in the same band, to get, we work together as a band, you know, and doing the same thing as singing and DJ, you know, we go on tour. As a matter of fact, we was an opening act for, for Garnet Sill tour in Japan. The only, the only show, the only tour that Garnet Sill did in Japan, it was me and Caterpillar was the opening act on yeah. that tour. <laughs> you know? And <laughs> most of we don't have a killer with your most of Be a strong, be a strong. <laughs> Listen, when, yeah, when we're done, something. when when we're done, I'm going to make a personal request that yeah. somebody rewrites the bio because there's clearly <laughs> way too much in here. Listen, in the information age that we're in right now, 
people want to know as much info as possible. And yeah, okay, yeah, we just were doing backup for Garnet Silk. Yeah, we're his opening act in Japan. Yeah, yeah, Paris Simon's <laughs> DJ. Yeah, and, no, we need this written down somewhere, boss. We need this written down. Somewhere. Yeah, 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 chill, chill, chill. Mm-hmm. You're a sting one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay, so then, okay, we're going to get in back yeah. into the free minds. But since you guys brought up Garnet Silk, do you guys remember any special moments in particular on that Japan show with Garnet Silk? Yeah, man. But the, uh, uh, I'm going to tell you something. For me, everything. Up, but for me, all of the moment, the moment the moment it was great. Yeah, man, everything. Was very, it's like, for me, Garnet Silk was, for me personally, you know. The archangel. If, 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 I don't know who another God thing I remember, but for me personally, Ghana Silk was like a God to me. Yeah, man. You know, because as a singer to another singer, and Ghana Silk has, has embraced me so much. See? Because yeah, right. he, met, he met me for the first time in, in Japan, and I was, I used to, I, when we had to we do harmony, we did harmony for him too, on stage, see? And also, it's like, you know, him, when he me do that, do that thing, it's like him say, yo, if I come to Jamaica, I make good, make good, make my, 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 my deal with it and my backup singer and so forth. He wanted all of us to come down. You know, so Garnet Silk for me was like, you know, Celestial. Yeah, man. Yeah. Real was, there, was there anything that he said or did that you remember like forever? He either told you something, you've seen him do something that you'll never, ever forget. Hold on there. I smiled at them, you used to call me, see? And Garnet said, Smile on my brother. That is it. Mm-hmm. I'm on the way give me a smile on my brother. Yeah. All the singing and everything is like that just cover it just cover everything. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> a different energy, man. Yeah, the energy of Garnet was a different person. Mm-hmm. We need a show for that. Crazy. Okay. Talking about that now, because we know you guys did a lot of you guys said you guys did a lot of opening that time. Who else did you guys open for back then? Uh um like um Julian Marley when he was there, you know, um uh, a couple of artists, I can't remember their name right now too. But it's a couple a, a, a couple older artists. Yeah. You know, so yeah, yeah, it's it's like I, I do it's like I don't even record of that. <laughs> but mm-hmm. yeah, know, I was you know, personally I I did drummings for a couple of artists. When it come out to the DJ thing now, most of my performance is like, yeah, showtime thing is not really like opening for no act and all stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So I, I get a chance to even be on Japan Splash with Luchi and uh, Freddie Magriga. Yep. Marcia Griffiths, King Sound. Um, a whole bunch of them, like, Sizzler, yeah, Wally for artists, you know. I also yeah. work, I get a chance to work with um, Cabra, uh, Patra, Lady Patra, JC Lodge, mm-hmm. a whole bunch of them. What for them? Trust me. Shabba too, I think you look up past it. Well, yeah, Shabba. 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 Yeah. Shabba. Mm-hmm. yeah, I met Shabba here, my daddy. Yeah, for yeah. real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember when I'm coming up. Basically, when the artists them come to Japan, it's like them book up on Jamaican, mm-hmm. you know, and, and it was just a few of us, like maybe it's just a few of us in them time. Basically, right? about five or six of it, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. as musician and artists, you know, and yeah. um, of course, them go link way up, you know, so we get to meet them and you know have a good relationship with them too. From there, because even how did you end up in Japan, Shango? Well, it's a band. I went there with Ninja Force band, mm-hmm. you know. To do a six months gig, and um, you know we do the six months gig, and then I go back to Jamaica, and then because we kind of fall in love with Japan, go back to Jamaica, and and then the, there's a club, up, the same club up there, wanted to put a band together, you know, and I'm bridging them, tell me about it, and then and I'm the, and I find myself up there, the way there, true music, you know, so we end up there. And after we got them out, about a couple months after we meet Caterpillar, we start working together in the same club too. <laughs> and it's so, so obvious because 
Specs was from the Negro side, and I, I was in Ochiria. So the comp- there was these two different companies that provide band to travel to Japan. To Japan at that time. Funds changing period. Mm-hmm. So it's the same se- same settings I came here on. And we end up in the same club. You know, the same club. <laughs> so, we, you know, the same band. Hear this now. Hear this now. Even though in Jamaica now, when we say I'm from St. Thomas, <laughs> most of my time spent in Rockford, which is the same east where Trex was at. Yeah. The supermarket that Trex used to do part-time job. I used to shop there and don't know him. Never meet him. No know The brief down around on Oliver Road. <laughs> and I wear a Japanese so we come link up. So, you know, it's just... Yeah, yeah, you know. It was meant to be, you know. <laughs> it was meant to be definitely right yeah, there. Yeah, so, okay, so you guys are telling me how you guys actually came together as a duo. And how did you guys even come up with the name Free Minds? Yeah, well, um, after putting the putting the door together, because the door but the, the door born about eight years ago. The door itself. I right. was working before, but the door born about eight years ago. Mm-hmm. And um we, we, for, to find the name, we wanted to to be like um uh Outcast, you know the group Outcast, right? Of yeah. So, yeah, I, I really Outcast was like, like, like a, like an idol to me again, you know. And um, to me, I wanted something that could mean Outcast, you know. See, yeah. <laughs> it's like a so, free. So, oh. so I think if you're free, you're mine, and do what you want to do. You can be, you still be Outcast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. So I called I called Pillar. I said, Pillar, you know, say, cause we were searching for a name. Mm-hmm. And one of the reasons why we wanted a name because we never want to be Shango Trex and Caterpillar. <laughs> and yeah. still up because you know people know we like that and we you know still have as that solar arc and we never really want that, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like we call Pillar, we say, yo, can we are searching for a name? I mean, we come across some like a weird name to but you know, but we go so I'm going to say, I'm going to free minds. But when I research it, when I research it, even the spelling, and I had to change the spelling, mm-hmm. you know, because, um, you know, there's a lot of people who, who um, register free minds out there and things like that, you know, free minds. So them have the LLC and, you know, I, I couldn't touch it like that. So changing the spelling and get it like that, then it will, you know, it, it will come up with a name Free Minds. Steal it, you know? You know? Mm-hmm. So that's how Free Minds was real. The name Free Minds was born because of, you know, um, kind of, I look, I look towards the level of outcasts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And even yeah. another project I know you guys did, this was, I think, 2011, was the um, Rise and Shine project. Ah. Oh, how yeah. did that come around? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. You see that? that? This is what really merge the whole free minds thing. Mm-hmm. Because what happened now, the Rise and Shine project, it really come out of the, the earthquake that happened around here. And we decided, say, yo, we need to do something. We know Trek's well connected to Japan. I'm connected to Japan. We love Japan and everything like that. But it was like, what can we do for this now? And I was sitting in my living room watching the whole thing happening on my TV, actually. Brace, embracing my TV while it's rocking and mm. when we really sit down and see the whole water take over everybody and thing like that it, it was really heavy on my system you know and I couldn't stay steady <clears throat> so right away I do, same day same couple minutes after it stopped shit I call my producer and say yo we need to do something for this so I say yeah what, what we can do I am say yeah man we need to do something let's do a charity song because this, this right hand side is really a charity song mm-hmm. you know and right away, definitely, I called Trex. I said, Trex, we need to do something on this. We talk to the producer at the Ray. I just jump on it right away. I start get it written. And we just shut it up, you know, get some other artists from Jamaica and stuff like that. The poor artists and thing. Yeah. You know, and we make it, make the song. And that song now, I actually gave a friend of mine <clears throat> a copy of the CD. He took it home, played it in his house. His grandchild, Love it so much, like singing it like every minute, every second, every day. So he came back to me, you know, this guy now is really a, a super club, a super car club 
boss, he means the top man of the super, the, the Lamborghini, Ferrari, and the Pacani, and the right there. there. No, he. Yeah, I mean, but we don't can't call to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> he have, he have one of the Pacani, and he was like, he's only, they only make 15 of these throughout the rare area, and he, he need us to do a song mm -hmm. dedicating to his car. The Pacani, and I'm like, whoa, a song for a car. You know, but you know, the car people who love car that way, they take them car very serious. So, like that was to switch my <laughs> creativity thinking. Now, I say, all right, me can't really sing something, something about no car. So, I'm going to switch it and look on the car like a girl. Mm -hmm. So, I was in my kitchen cooking and thinking about the thing, what we're going to do, the idea, what we're going to do, and that rush came in and that's where we did our first song together as free man which is that rush mm -hmm. it has visuals also yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the visual also for that one so you see though if you see that video you will see the car that we unveil that's the car we're singing about okay that's the car we sing the song was for you know that's where free minds that's it free minds you know that's where free minds birth like seriously you know Mm -hmm. Because I know between the Rise and Shine project and that rush, it was about four years in between there where you guys, I think 2011 was Rise and Shine and that right. rush came out 2015. Yeah, right, 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 right. So what were you guys doing doing in between that time there, that four year span? You have, we have another project where we put out, which is um, Time to Shine. No, that, no, in, be in between, in between, um, that rush and, 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 um, Rise and, and shine. Rise and shine. Okay, okay. So in between that time, they, they okay. the time, they see, that time they see an empty team. But during okay. that time, between between that time, right? Rise and shine. Although we did rise and shine, we still wasn't free minds at the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, so we were still doing individual projects. Right. The thing is, although we're doing individual projects, we're still involved in each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and even 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 more even more so than back than before, you know, right? Because because what happened? We both have children where the youth, you know, is my youth and female youth. They're like brother and sister. Yeah. Because my 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 son called him daddy. Mm -hmm. You understand? Call right. him papa. Come and and female youth them call him uncle. Right. You understand? So we we'll, we'll basically the youth and all them grow up. And in between that time, we have these kids between between um, um, Rise and Shine and that rush. Mm -hmm. We have these kids in the studio with us singing harmonies and some project that we was doing. Yeah, man. Yeah. So again, it's like, you know, we, we get so over when my tears come out. I can't, we we can't, we're tough now. We're going like, you're not going like, we're tough, man. We're, 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 trust me. It overwhelms us so bad. Kids are in some of the kids are in it too, you know. Even even um, um some of the videos, you know, the, the kids are in it. Yeah, but there are big people also. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what about still kids anyway? <laughs> there will always be kids in your heart. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Because even talking about now, this would be your. I would say this was really the song that presented to you guys right now was the time to shine, and that came out in the same 2015 also. Right, 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 right. right. With visuals. How did you guys come up with that song there now? Yeah, well, you see, with that now, with that is really like what happened over the years because we had so much things together and, you know, and now we have this, we, we said, well, we have a group together now. Mm -hmm. We needed something for us to shine as the group. We need something to motivate ourselves. All right, this is what, this some, is us. Some, some, something that, that, that will make us shine and the title itself, you know, came from that, you know, mm -hmm. because we wanted something that make us really shine. And as, as Pilar said, for us, we motivated to it, for something for lift work, because during that time, that it kind of really, you know, we know we put the group together, you know, and it's a whole lot of things that we have put together. We have a Japanese producer, Bridging with us, and he is to us again, between, with, with, for me and Pilar, that, that man is, we call him daddy. Yeah, man. Daddy so really like my Japanese father. You know, we, we, we adopt him as Japanese father. 
you know, cause you know, me and Pillar Bread are still, you know, most, you know, I mean, you know, we're not, we're not same name still, but I saw with it, Pillar Bread. Yeah, so the whole thing is, um, time to shine, reason out that the, 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 the whole inspiration up just to be, to, 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 to solidify ourselves as a, as a group scene and, and trying to find that sound and also, you know, we, we had to shine. It's like time to start to shine. Yeah, it's basically being independent, knowing that we're yeah. going to go independent now and wh whatever it's going to be, it's going to be us. No record label behind us, no record company behind us. Yeah. So the track, if you listen to the lyrics, we actually I tell people, say, all right, we have to go make the decision for ourselves, no matter what, and we have to go do it now. So that is time to shine. So we just quick, we go, we're going, we're going. That's why we say, my niti, my niti, bam, bam, bam. And that's like, my niti is like every day in Japanese. That means we're going at it, we're going at it, bam, 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 you know. That's basically what it's, it is about. Yeah. How did that song, and did you guys put out an EP also called Time to, um, called Time to Shine? No, single. Oh, no, no, that was it. Was that 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 EP? Was an EP. Was an EP. Okay, yeah. so it all. But time to shine was on the that rush EP. Yeah, no, uh, no. it was supposed to be on the EP, but it, no, it, it didn't go on it. Mm -hmm. It didn't go on it. Right. So, um, for for some, you know, some um, they call them, uh, for some kind of administration. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, it was an administrative move, you know. Right. So the was, business, uh, you know, the business of the business. And how yeah, did that song? Yeah. How did that song do for you guys' career now? Because you guys are individual, but now as a group, how did the times to shine do for you guys as a group now? It's weird for all my people, man. Yeah, man. Time to shine, basically. Time to shine, basically. Um, we don't call it now. Open up the eyes of a lot of ones and ones. Okay, free minds is here. Yeah, you know so I'm saying, because that rush, that rush is a bad video, bad tune, and everything like that. But that that was the one that came out and rare, yeah. But time to shine is really the one that really kind of put we in the one that we have people singing along with us when we sing it, <laughs> and, and get and get a lot of recognition from that. So you know, it, right it, it really want to open up people's eyes towards three months still, you know, yeah. Yeah, because uh, you know a, a lot of people at that time would say, "What free minds is here," you know. And uh, oh. I, I remember one person come come to us one time and say, was saying to me that it's the first time, you know, um, people who like artists from Jamaica who live in Japan doing something very professional, you know. Yeah. I, I, I remember that that somebody come to me and said that, you know, and I mean that. And, and the, one of the reasons why them said it is, 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 is how well it was doing yeah, well. the reggae community in Japan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, because even if you listen to like the earlier songs too, they weren't really reggae or dancehall. They had more of like a international feel to them. You'd be yeah. DJing on it. You'd be singing on it, but it had more of an international feel. Was that influenced by living in Japan and stuff like that? The funniest thing about it, <laughs> if, 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 well, as for me, personally, I always try not to do the norm in music. Yeah, that's what I don't know you to ask for, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when it eventually comes out to that, and that's why you have free minds. That's why we could see or, or each other vision. You understand? Yeah. So, if you listen, if you should buck up on any one of my songs from the Sony records and the Warner Brothers or whatever from those albums. They're all different stuff from what's happening. I am the reggae to it. I'm the Jamaica to it. You understand me? And, so, and, and, yeah. Go on, it always, like, those albums, when I released my album, my album was like 15 or 20 years ahead of its time. That's all different the stuff is and even up to today these you listen to them now they're matching up seeing away with what happening and that like from 1995 and 97 right there you understand me so basically it was ahead of our time always ahead of our time and, and, and most of it's the way we're, we're, we're most of that and, and not for that is if my influence you know over the years was from the beginning was like stylistics and earthman and fire Michael jackson 
you know my most of my influence from the, you know the earlys you know mm -hmm. so and then you have like baba and they, you know coming to that because it's really baba and they they why wilson them artists them me used to look at it to, to the level where the money used to do with the music and then third world you know what i mean yeah, so the whole thing is making music like that you know and even as a matter of fact i, I think we're still sticking to that kind of mindset in making music but because of what because of where the music is now it, it would seem like say oh it's, it's more, we're doing some modern style or dance hall and modern style you know which which is that you know eventually we have to take on to that genre because we're from jamaica you understand so we have to represent anyway but the whole thing is um yeah my influence i come from you know the earth wind and fire the you know the michael jackson them the the, the the, the stylistics, you know, I sing a whole for father to and all these things, you know. <laughs> and one, one, one next major part of our music career, and and I think a lot of musicians would say this also. Sure. Both of us start like we we used to play in the hotel, in the hotel circuit. That's where our band exactly. used to play. That's where we. That's where they come and scout us, find us. Take us to Japan. Yeah. So you, when you're in the hotel circuit, now you yeah, play music, you yeah, play the American songs to suit the Americans' guests. So we we we, yeah, we, we, play, we, we have to play them tune. So them tune them is a part of us. So we move, we versatile away there. Cause we can't go the sweet way, we can't go the raga way at the same time. Now we can yeah, imagine vent them and make it nice for everyone. You understand? You can imagine most of it's like me in the hotel as a singer. You know, me have to sing everything. Yeah, man. <laughs> you have to sing everything. From men to, to R and B. All we know is sing. <laughs> have to sing everything. You know, yeah. so it's every kind, every genre of music. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, it was my influence was really deep rooted inside. Uh, you know, that my band said to me one time, say, yo, you know, don't make, don't make, don't hold, hold on, hold on, hold on your heart. You know, cause you want. Do what your heart desire, mm -hmm. you know. No, that's sorry. what we, and, and I mean, him is, him is an example of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's big right there. You guys been doing a lot of music together from a long time, even not even as a duo, but separately. Right. You guys crossing paths and all that. How easy or how hard is it now to keep your the duo together with one living in Japan and one of you guys living in the state? <laughs> yeah, that come like an easiest thing. That <laughs> easiest thing right now. <laughs> Technology are the easiest thing. No, well, <laughs> let me answer that question. Yeah. One of the reasons why it's so easy, you see, mm -hmm. as I tell you, it's a my brother, seeing, and talking to us, you know, so in, if you listen to us, you, you find so we end up I finish one another sentence. Mm -hmm. That is how much a brother we is. So it's like, you know, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to explain, but <laughs> I've been tried. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Is that is is that it is that thing we are in? No, because of the pandemic, people might say, "Oh, it can't." We don't get together here. But listen, we've been doing this for a long while, not being together before the pandemic. Even before the pandemic, before right? the pandemic, we've been working, not living in the same peninsula. You know, so you find say, to we is like you know, being together is a natural thing. Our practice become perfect. It, it, it's, 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 it's so natural that's when I have to think about it's not nothing to think about of oh well we have to stay together and on oh because we have to keep this not like that. It's just natural. As a matter of fact, we never have them conversation there yet. Never. We never <laughs> we don't have them conversation and not at all. Because never. the youth them, the children them is like at, at them at, at, at them time of everything. <laughs> yeah man. So it's like it's so lucky in that, you know, we, we never think about, uh, well, well, we need to keep this group together, you know, because we have something going on. None of that, you know, we just know the only thing we need for this is putting in work. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense, sir. I yeah. brought it up earlier, but this is what I want to talk about now. You guys have a new song out produced by um, Lenky Marzen called Dangerous. All right. Now we're we're basically, well, at least in Canada right now, we're at the tail end of the pandemic, it seems right now. So why would you guys now figure, okay, now is the time to put out some new music right now? Well, actually, no, we've been waiting 
to put out these songs from before the pandemic. We actually started the project to go out with these songs before the pandemic. Right, right in the pandemic. Right, right in the pandemic. He bought his ticket to flow to flew so he could flew to Japan for us to do the music video. For our more music videos for the other projects. That, we have we have the clip loaded you know, on the clip fully you know. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I drop out. <laughs> so he was supposed to be here to do it and the pandemic cut off everything. I would definitely pass for right? two years mm -hmm. until we decided, to listen, bro, let's move. Can we but, move? but but uh, uh, yeah, Pillar lift out a very important part. You see what happened? When 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 the pandemic when the whole thing with the shutdown and everything, with the kind of me personally kind of get the job past the boy. The sound of a change and this or that are going. So it's like what happened? We went back in the studio yeah, saying, and revamped the tune them by touching, touching up and touch up over touch up. And you know, remaster and all these things. And um, yeah. But it was as, as again, it was on different peninsula scene. And you know, with the, with the internet, you know, send file that's why I was sent file over this and you know. So of course it it it, it to me it, and to me it was uh, it much more easier now than you know than than before, you know. And on the phone with one another when we are doing vocals, you know, we on the phone and when we are doing my vocals, we on the phone and you know we do the, the look WhatsApp camera thing. Oh, you know what I mean? So of course the vocals we get the vocals done and do a waffle though, you know. And yeah, Mars said, Mars said, please with it, Mr. Lake himself. You know, see, I must mention GC to cause without him and GC, you know, GC also is the one where him, him make us solidify free mind song. Mm -hmm. You know, because doing that rush and you know, time to shine, we still were searching for that song. Yeah, man, the song, you know. So now we solidify our song with 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 these these other. Arsenal will put another clip, you know, sort of the final song, and it's and it's and it's all credence to Linky and GC. Yeah, man, straight up and down without without any hold back, you know, because some man feel like they should not really, really but me I tell you, it's them two man there. It's what it is without them two man there. We are still a struggle to forget the song. Yep, you it's know? what it is. Because even with Dangerous, what I like with it, it has a real nice summer vibe to it, a real summer bounce. Like, this is something, you know, summer is here. This is what people will be listening to. Yeah, for. exactly. And, yeah, and, and to answer your question, that's the reason why. Because we get, I mean, we take advice from, and, 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 you know, a lot of advice come to us about putting out the truth now. Now is the time, you know, do it before, make sure it's done in the summertime. Uh, amongst the giants, you know, do it, you know, don't don't be afraid, cause no fear, hashtag no fear, seen. Mm -hmm. So we decide say, all right. And of course, me and Pillar reason, you know, yeah, and we decide say, boom, let's do it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Right there. Okay, so I guess you guys are gonna do visuals and everything for the song also. Yeah, man. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the, the visual for that song is being edited right now. And we wasn't together, but you can see. It. <laughs> yeah, the, the the pandemic. This is the only new new part for us. This is the only part of new to us. The video part, but we've been pandemicing from when. <laughs> That's but, what we our but, but 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 to, but but again, the video itself. That for this one now, all the footage and everything that we get gather and, and put putting together right now. This will be. The, 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 the weekend is bitter for us. Yeah, man. But then I went with together. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> the move. Like, rough, rough, rough. <laughs> no, this, this is interesting because even just like this conversation here, I'm in Toronto, mm -hmm. you're in the States, that, you're in Japan. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's the that technology, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I've been enough man say, boy, I don't want to watch you on this and that, but I love it. <laughs> I love it. We love Respect it. 100. It's, as we say, hashtag no fear. So, no fear. You understand. Are you guys going to be working on a full project with um Diwali and RC? GC. Yeah, yeah. Well, GC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, definitely. That's, definitely. that's, that's, that's this never working with. 
you know, no, 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 nothing, no qualms about it. I did where I work with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know. Yeah, um, and, 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 and let them fire away. <laughs> and let them fire away. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you guys are planning some tours outside and some shows outside of Japan, or you guys are more or less work in Japan and then bring it outside of Japan after. No, nah, well, it's really well, well. What we're trying to do is get this thing because Japan, you know. We ain't telling you about Japan. Japan lock already. We have Japan lock already. But um, it's really we outside. We need, we need people outside to know about us now. Yeah, man. You know, like, you know, especially in the West here, we need to be known in the West. We need to be heard. We need to make some noise. You know, so now coming from a muscle show, it's a big thing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, oh, yeah, it's a big thing. Load. So, load. You know, <laughs> some big 18 in Janem where they said so. Load. We love that. <laughs> <laughs> with some scoops, you can't forget the scoop. No, no, 18 inches with scoops. Forget it, forget the you scoops. see it, exactly. load. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, you know. So, um, it's getting it on this platform over here mm -hmm. and getting the name out here, you know, because doing sure we well want to do some show, yes, but you know, we need the name so we can make some kind of impact, mm -hmm. you know, and people want to see we are here, we are thinking like that, yeah. Definitely. And where could they um check out dangerous and stuff like that right now? On all social media platform. Uh, iTunes and even iTunes and every every digital store. But if I am on um Apple Music all the way, it's all over. Yeah, man. All digital store. So all and, and 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 wanna send them to Spotify, you know, free mind Spotify because one of the numbers climb up. And go up and keep going up and up and up. One numbers like muscle numbers and thing. Please, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, we love, we love, you know, we love the high numbers, you know. So um, yeah. So, um, and even social media, where could they check out you guys as a group and as individuals on social media? Also, leave your handles here. Free minds, free minds music. F R C E. That's it. F R E E M Y N Z music. That's Instagram. Free Minds Music again at, at Twitter scene. Free Minds at um at, at um Facebook. Facebook. You know? And yeah, YouTube, Free Minds again. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can go to Free Minds Free Free Minds um channel. And um yeah, that's it basically. You know? And if anything, yeah, go search some place there, you'll find you will find we are doing like individual things here. Some more contents that we are doing like a thing, you know. But we kind of try to put everything under the umbrella of free minds, right? Right. Yeah, we kind of yeah individual thing. Yeah. Make it chill. You know, free minds. We have to right now. Free minds. It's free. Yeah, minds. definitely. And dangerous. <laughs> and free minds is dangerous right now. So yeah. <laughs> you get that. Right now, we're at the end of the conversation. If there's anybody you want to big up, anything else you want to say right now, the floor is yours before I get you guys out of here. Yeah, well, right now, from my side, I just want to big up and bless up you, most of first, for having us on your program, seeing yep. enough respect, you're stuck out there. I don't know, because this time my brother said, him watch it, me watch it, me watch, me watch it on YouTube, too. Because hmm. a couple of things, you, you might not know, you know, but just, just, just look at inside. Shining is, 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 is my brother-in-law, you know? So I'm going to watch a program to watch you and shine, so I had to, you know? Okay. <laughs> Different. Okay. So I want to big up Shining. Yeah, man. A.K.A. Carl Aiken, you know, Edmund himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see him? All right. I want to big up Lenky. I have to big up Lenky, see him? Stephen Lenky Mars then, see him? One big up Andre Fennel, aka GC Gate Citizen. Seen, yeah. One big up Allison, yeah. One eye, one eye promotion in the scene. One eye entertainment, yeah. One, yeah, man. So, I'm one big up the whole world. Straight, straight, you know. And so much people, I, I mean, I want to call nobody and forget them name and they want, and they will say, well, you never call me name for it, you know. Enough people, <laughs> yeah. You know, we can't, you know, we are, we are just get tied up in that empty, the right muscle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I want to know, we just want to big up 
most of all, the original Diarded Freemans fans. Yeah. Who they were on the place with me from day one as for the long. Definitely. They appreciate love, you see me? Definitely. Yeah. And big up muscle crew and in team and in yeah. fan them. Yeah. Well, tell the fan them, the muscle fan them saying, oh, don't be free to share the joy with I and I free minds. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Those. Give it, really up the number. Give me some number there. You see me? You know? Keep it I want to say, pick up Japanese people them all over the world. Me yeah. Un- no, me not stand your rush. Good. You see me? Yeah, yeah man. Jamaica. Big up. St. Thomas, my place. And yeah. all the artists them around here. They speak big up they Jamaica. Big up on the world. You see me? Big up on yourself. Big up Kingston. Big up Look big for our garrison, Wildman Street, and all these things. Yeah, big look for our big time. It's coming at you. You see me? You won't be surprised. You won't be disappointed. And especially the ladies, we represent. What? Oh no, you hear that? Don't me don't talk. Yeah, man. Mm. Feel. Look, listen. This is this is what I want to do next because you guys intrigued me from early. Wanna. This is right now the Free Minds interview. All right. We sat down. We had a conversation. Mm-hmm. Later on, as the brand solidifies, I want to sit down with you guys again, but as individuals, because I know there's a lot, a <laughs> lot, <laughs> a lot to uncover. But right now, we're just doing Free Minds right now. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah all right. All right. All right. All right. Really. Real. Definitely. Gentlemen, yeah. excellent, great conversation. Yeah, and a lot of people are going to be surprised to see who this is be- behind this Free Minds brand here to really understand you guys' journey a bit more. Sin, sin, yeah. sin, sin. Yeah, man. And not yeah, man. also give thanks. Thanks for having us. Yeah. And, and a good reason to most of family. Thanks yeah, for watching us and listening to us. Yeah, and thanks for waking up the number of the family. We love you. Same way. Thanks <laughs> us in the family, muscles. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Let me give you guys an outro and get you guys out here because it was a great conversation. All right? Yeah, man. Thanks, wow. bro. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com.